The good thing about all this automation is that we have maintained our work size of around 100 plus people. Touching the chickens, being in contact with the livestock, it's really hard to find people who are willing to work inside the farms. There are a lot of different tanks for storing all the different types of raw ingredients. The capacity of all the tanks act together is probably maybe 4,000 tons. To give you a better idea of this whole big feed meal, we should go to see at the control room. There are 12 tanks here, some of them may be made, some may be soybean meal. The computer actually weighs what is needed of each ingredient. After getting the correct proportion, they are, they are mixed in a mixer and then they are sent by conveyors to all the houses which are a lot even more tanks. father went on a lot of study trips to US and Europe to study the art of technology that was involved in farming. When the time came for the farm to be relocated, we saw that there are opportunities to take up a lot of these new technologies. Those eggs that are heavily broken, we take out by hand first. Blood spots are naturally occurring in some eggs, probably a very small percentage, maybe 0.05% or something like that. It's natural, but then consumers just don't like to see a blood spot inside the eggs. Farming has increasingly over the years become more and more complex. We are facing competition for farms that are doing 1 million, 2 million eggs a day overseas. We are seeing that technology are being catered for big farms of that size. Whether we like it or not, we have 
to be in the race. If we don't change and innovate, we are not able to survive in the future.